Don't get me wrong, I love exploring parts of BC, but this road trip that I took down to the eastern part of Oregon really blew me away. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. Day two of my road trip here. Uh, we are just packed up and ready to go. Um, from what I hear from Will, we are heading to a hot spring. Uh, so I'm kind of just following uh, their lead. I don't really know this area too much. So um, yeah, had a great sleep last night and uh, passed out like a baby. Very happy about this trip so far. Uh, we got about another two days until we get to the expo. So uh, let's start going. After crossing the playa, we got onto the main gravel road towards Steens Mountain. Steens Mountain is a 50 mile folk block mountain located in the southeastern part of Oregon. Our plan is to take the scenic route out of the Oliver Desert. Okay guys, so uh, Will's just checking out uh, another location here that's another different waypoint. So far the view is really beautiful right now. Uh, we're just waiting for him and then once he gets back, let us know whether or not that uh, direction that we're going to is good. Um, yeah, we're gonna start heading uh, out of this area. It's been an awesome day so far. But uh, yeah, I think they're back. So uh, let's go. Some parts of this trail seemed like it hasn't been driven on in years, but still populated by the locals. I was in awe with the beautiful surroundings that I didn't even film at one point and just took in the moment. After a few hours of driving in the dirt road, we finally hit the main gravel road again. Hey guys, so we just got out of the uh, back roads, out of the dirt roads. Now we're just here airing up on our way to the gas station to fill up. Uh, we're cutting it close. Uh, but anyways, after we hit the gas station, we're on our way to our next uh, location. Uh, I believe this one is gonna be Hot Springs, so let's go check it out. We gassed up at French Glen and quickly had lunch. After lunch, we hit the road towards Hart Mountain Hot Springs. I didn't feel much on the way there since the road was just covered with dust. After an hour of driving, we finally reached the Hot Springs. What's up everybody? Um, currently nine o'clock right now. Uh, once we got to camp, I didn't really do too much. I actually took a nap. Pretty tired to be honest. We just had dinner and we're just gonna be hanging out by the fire. Um, kind of just have an easy day. And um, yeah, just I'd say one more sleep, uh, two more sleeps actually until the expo. So uh, tomorrow we're gonna be uh, taking on some miles and yeah i'm excited to uh check out the expo but getting to uh the expo is the best part so far because i get to see all this beautiful uh parts of the u.s that i probably wouldn't see on a normal basis but anyways guys we're just gonna hang out by the fire and i'll uh catch you guys later
Good morning, everybody. Day three of our uh, trip towards Bend, Oregon uh, for the Overland Expo Pacific Northwest. We just got all packed up and uh, we're just about to head to our next destination now. I believe the campsite or the place that we're trying to get to eventually to camp is going to be really close to Bend uh, just because the expo opens up at I believe at around 8 o'clock so we'll hopefully get there around like 10. But yeah, had a good uh, night last night. Um, just hung out by the fire uh, and kind of called it early last night as well too. So but yeah, we're just about to head out. Let's go. Leaving Heart Mountain, we head to Christmas Valley to gas up. Then, we head back down on the road to check out the nearby dunes, but unfortunately, not all of us drove on it. Here's Will to explain why. You need a permit and you need a red flag to be driving out here. So, unfortunately, you're not going to see any shots of our rigs driving on the sand dunes because I didn't bring that stuff. Apparently, apparently Shy didn't forget his. So, just finished checking out the dunes over here and uh, yeah wish we uh, got the permits and the flag and everything else would have been a nice little uh, you know fun drive but we actually decided not to get the the permits and everything else just because uh, we still have a, a drive to get to Bend Oregon because tomorrow is the event but yeah we're on our way to Bend Oregon right now I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. got on the main road after driving through that scenic uh, way out of the dunes honestly beautiful place uh, I was actually just enjoying a lot of the scenery there uh, filmed as much as I could but all in all just wanted to enjoy it it is currently 4:30. Uh, I believe we are still ways away to get to Ben Oregon but uh, I believe we're already starting to um, position ourselves to go find camp for tonight following shy uh, right now and yeah can't wait to get all set up for camp and have my dinner but yeah definitely been an enjoyable three days of uh, you know taking the back roads uh, and getting to the back country there and uh, yeah I can't wait to get to the expo and uh, check out all the events and all the vendors anyways Let's keep on driving. After driving for an hour, we drove past Ben and found camp right above the Chutes River.
We had a delicious dinner while hanging out by the fire, talking about the epic trip we just went through as a group. Tired eyes finally caught up to us, and we called it an early night. Hey everyone, hope you all enjoyed part two of this trip. If you haven't watched part one, please do so. Part three of this trip will be about the Overland Expo Pacific Northwest, which was an awesome event. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Until next time, stay awesome.